Whitefold next, and Star Club on the Berkshire station have got an early lead here on Durham. A long way to go, though. This is just up at Temple Island. It's a very good morning to Mark Hunter. Well, Tim, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. How are you, Mark? Very well, very well. I'm very excited for the next six days. Really looking forward to it. Just watching as an early lead is established here on the Berkshire station by Star Club. It's a good start from them, isn't it? Yeah, they got off to a clean start there, taking the early initiative, which is always good in your first race at the regatta. Go further down the course here. Just see Temple Island to the right. That's where they start the race. And they head down through the course. And you'll be able to see the progress balls popping up in a few minutes' time. Zipping by them. So Star Club on the Barch says this is now very even, isn't it? Durham Rowing Club. Yeah, it's as the race has unfolded, Durham have settled down and found a better rhythm. Yeah, after that slightly shaky start, they've got into their rhythm, um, holding on to style, which is really important in that early stage. So you can sense the crew beside you. Progress marker there. We uh, yeah, can sense that Star Club still lead, but not by much. In fact, this is absolutely nothing in it. No, it's stage. pretty, and this is what you, you know, it's what you come to Henley for, isn't it? That side-by-side -side gladiatorial racing. Yeah, it's great to have such a close race in the opening round. Yeah, still a long way to go. Just about halfway point. Yeah, so on the Bucks yeah, station, the Durham boat that you can see. Dark blue and old gold. John Roxburgh in the bow seat. By George William Pansky and Oliver Negus in the stroke seat. And it's just that added bit of pressure in a Coxus boat. You know, you get drawn to the crew beside you. And as you're racing side by side like this, you just feed off them. And, you know, the, the markers do seem to pass quicker when you're racing up the course. Ages in that uh, Durham boat, John Roxburgh, and you you're older than you, Mark. I think. Wow, look at that! <laughs> That's impressive. No, not yet, not yet. 41. He is. I'm 45 this Saturday. Really? So, yeah. yeah. That makes yeah. us all feel old. Yeah. Uh, Josiah George, 23. William Sapansky, 19. So it's great, isn't it, having that age range and how much they'll learn from each other and obviously some experience. So this serious experience. Yeah, and the great thing, you've got it in both boats. You've got uh, athletes that have competed at the regatta a couple of times, and then some new newbies. It's their first time. So using that experience is trying to fast track the people you're going to be competing with to understand what it's going to be like to race up the Henley course. That side by side racing, you know, that one on one is very different and very unique to what they normally do on the racing circuit. Whereas Star Club, who I think still just about hold the lead. There's almost uh, nothing at all here. They're all in their uh, mid-20s or early 20s. So a bit more consistency with the age. So in front of the enclosures now, and Star Club led for the early stage of this race. Durham right in it. And Star have definitely had a better line in the last couple of metres. They've kept it very you know, straight. They haven't had to use the rudder at all. Obviously, being Cox boats, they'll have someone steering the boat with their foot. They've done a really good job there because every time you put the rudder on, you slow the boat down. We've well, just seen there a few alterations by the, the steers person in the Durham boat. And a race this marginal, steering is crucial, isn't it? The steering could be the difference in winning or losing without any doubt, whereas some of the other races where there's a greater margin, it doesn't matter how you steer, you're still going to win. Yeah, very much so. If you're, if you're in front, you can dictate the race and you can use the water on your station. When you're close like this and, you know, you're fighting for every inch. You don't want to waste any kind of speed by having to turn the rudder on and slow the boat down. Well, what a great race this is for day one of Henley Royal Regatta. Star is on the Barcher station and they've just drifted out a bit. The umpire's getting a bit uh, lively with them, just trying to encourage them back towards the Barcher bank. It's still quite out in the middle of the course here, but they've done enough. Star 
heading towards the finish line now. Last few grueling strokes, they've had to work hard for that. Durham stayed in contention all the way. In fact, the, the vast majority of that race, it was really tight. In the end, uh, a length and a little bit of clear water. That's not a fair reflection on the race at all, is it? That, just that last couple of hundred metres. Not at all. Star just kept that straighter line that last the second half of the course and just edged out. They took the early lead. Durham came back and then Star moved away. So, you know, textbook kind of racing.